Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Fallout 2. We're at Renesco and we're gonna ask him about the jet that killed that kid. Look, I'm a busy man. Uh, did you sell jet to Richard Wright? Don't you even try and pin that accusation on me. You went... Uh, you want to know who did it? Ask Tweedledum and Tweedledummer if they are still selling jet laced with arsenic. <clears throat> Tweedledum and Tweedledummer, who are they? <laughs> that vulture Jules and that lying reprobate Jagged Jimmy Jules. Uh, Jules is always perched near the, the entrance to town looking for ignorant visitors to victimize, and Jagged Jimmy deals on Second Street to the rest of the Reno cattle. They said to ask you, they say you sell bad shit, shit that kills people. Look, Primate, you don't even know what you're babbling about. Oh, I think I... Open your mouth again and even a whisper, even a hint reaches Mr. Wright that I, or you, might have had anything to do with that boy's... Oh, D, our lives ain't worth brahming shit. If that happens... Oh, so you... If that happens, you tribal shit, I swear you'll die before I do. Now, for the last time, that kid never bought shit from me, understand? Don't you ever say his name in here again, or so help me. <laughs> Jules says he didn't sell to the kid. Jimmy says he didn't sell to the kid. You say you didn't sell to him. Either you all, all are lying, or somebody else is responsible. Who, who, uh, who did he hang around who might have used drugs? You stupid bastard! I told you not to say his name in here! Get out! I see you again, I'll shoot you dead! If Mr. Wright comes looking for me, I think... Thinks I killed his boy, you'll die first! Whoa, I'm going now. Make it quick, okay. We can do this again. Uh, Alright, uh, no. I can answer that easy. One of those two mongrels is lying to save their behind. Between the two, they sell 90% of the jet in New Reno. And that's the only place the boy uh, we're talking about could have gotten it from. Or somebody that brought from one of you three. Who were your customers last month who might have had contact with the victim? I have no idea. I don't know the boy, so I don't know his friends or his habits. The only one who could tell you for sure is too busy being dead in Golgotha to tell you. Golgotha. Golgotha? Mash graveyard outside of town to the south. Follow the stench. The one other than your own. <laughs> All right, thanks, Renesco. Alright, so he it's not him. But yeah, we gotta get those uh those things. I mean uh, the uh, the empty canister of jet. Ah, uh, this is Salvatore's by we we can go and uh, give him the money back. Uh, that we got. Right, let's talk to this guy again. You found Lloyd yet? Yeah, I found Lloyd. No, it's frowning slightly. Well, all right then. Go tell Mr. Salvatore what you found. Oh, really? Is that what I should do? Thanks, Mason. Without you, I wouldn't even know how to get from place to place. Sheesh, idiot. All right. <laughs> yeah, don't piss him off. It's not worth it. Right, let's go in. You can go on in this time. Salvatore looks up at you, takes a breath from the mask. Have you disposed of the thief? Yes, I made an example of him, Mr. Salvatore. Puts his fingers together. And the money, has it been recovered? Yes, Mr. Salvatore. I will take the money now. This is the correct amount, it even tells you. Uh, give him 1,000. Salvatore nods as you give him the money, but he holds up his hand halfway through the transaction. The remaining half is yours. Thank you, Mr. Salvatore. Mr. Salvatore takes a breath from the mask. I have... Another matter that requires your attention. I am interested in the, the job, Mr. Salvatore. What do you want me to do? A constituent in my district has not paid me tribute for the services I provide. Collect it. If you object, inform him you are my representative in this matter. Talk to Mason for the details. Yes, Mr. Salvatore, I'll go see him. All right. Let's go talk to Mason. All right, then. You're gonna be a one-man collection agency. Drill simple. Visit Renesco's pharmacy on commercial row. Collect the tribute. 1,000 chips. Then bring it back here. All right. Anything else? Don't let Gramps give you any bullshit. If he does, tell him you work for Mr. Salvatore. That should clear up any misunderstandings. You got that? That's all I need to know. Thanks, Mason. All right, let's go. 
Back to Renesco. Yeah, we could also uh, talk to that uh, little lying bitch there in Renesco's bar. Oh well. Hello, Renesco. You have an interest in. Uh, I've come to collect Mr. Salvatore's tribute. And you wasted a trip. I paid Mr. Salvatore his tribute two weeks ago as per the schedule. I don't know why you're here, what you think you're doing, but you aren't getting one red chip from me. Get. Uh, get. Look, Gramps, stop giving me a hard time. Cough up the chips or you'll be coughing up blood. <laughs> I am Mr. Salvatore's representative. You will give me the tribute I have asked for and you will do so now. You lose your hearing, boy? I said I paid the tribute already! Two weeks ago. If you were really from Salvatore, you would know that. No kid. You're one of those who lost your hearing. I am Mr. Salvatore's representative and you will pay the tribute. Prove you're from Mr. Salvatore and I'll consider giving you the chips. Else you aren't getting shit. I do not need to prove myself. I am his representative, and this is all you need to know. Hmm. <laughs> Don't matter. I can't pay. The last collection nearly wiped me out. That is not my concern. You will get me the money now. Mr. Salvatore does not want to hear your excuses. Threatening me ain't gonna help. Mr. Salvatore wants his money. I don't have it. He'll be mad at me, but he'll be mad at you too. Salvatore doesn't like people who let him down. You better figure out something quick. I already have. I'll pay for your share for this period. In exchange, you will give me a discount at your store. Hmm. Now hold on, you Neanderthal. I will not argue with you anymore. My patience is at an end. These are my terms. I... Look, now, I... Hmm. Alright then. You get a discount. I don't want anything now, but don't worry, I'll be back. Alright. So, Solik, give me all the stuff we can sell. What we'll you be need? We shall have a discount. Hopefully something good. We can sell this. Oh, uh, well, I guess we'll... We could sell these. They're very heavy. I don't think we can use them for anything else except melee attacks, obviously. But I don't think you can use them in San Francisco in those fights. Can't quite remember. I could sell all, these, all this uh, ammunition. Jeez, there's so much. Still nothing? Oh, come on. There we go. And that's it for now. Let's see. Eh... What about that discount? <laughs> oh, that is a discount. That's pretty good, actually. Let's see. Yeah, that is pretty damn good. Some buff out here, some gen. Uh, not much, but better than nothing, I guess. Right, you've got money. <laughs> well, actually, there's not much I want. Yeah, well... Yeah, just... Actually, just give me your money. Uh, maybe more, you've got more money. More money! Excellent! Perfect! Lovely! Okay, that's a good trade. Right, so let's go back to Mr. Salvatore. Tell him we've done the job. We still need to get that stupid empty canister from the uh, from the Wright family, so we need to go there after this. You collect the tribute yet? Uh, got it. Here's the money. Mason nods, seems disappointed. <laughs> Thought we'd bled old Renesco of his last dime. All right then. Well, take it into the boss. Go on now. All right. And gotta open the doors again. Have you done as I asked? Yes, Mr. Salvatore. I have the tribute you asked me to collect. 
Very well. Uh, I don't really know how much. Give him 1,000 chips. Salvatore nods as you give him the money. You have done well. You have earned 25% of the cut. Thank you, Mr. Salvatore. Takes a deep breath from him, his mask. I have another matter that I could use your assistance with. Okay. A sensitive transaction will be taking place soon. I am in need of an extra guard to ensure that the transaction goes smoothly. You will speak with Mason and do as he directs you. Uh, what is this transaction? Mason will have the details. Go now. Yes, Mr. Salvatore. Okay, I feel like a dog. Alright, the boss says you're coming along on a little transaction we're doing. Make sure you come armed. Don't bring no pea shooters. Then come back and talk to me. What is this transaction we're doing? <laughs> if the boss didn't tell you, then you ain't got gotta know. So shut your hole. And don't be telling anyone about what's going on neither. Or I'll make sure you never say anything again. Give me some time to get ready and I'll come back. Make sure you hurry up. We only got a 24-hour window before the deal's off. You miss it, I'll make sure you rot in Golgotha. Don't worry, I'll be there. Make, let's make sure we do have it. We can read this. Um, and get to all our stuff ready. Oh, check out this bouquet of assholes. <laughs> you got enough beauty sleep? Maybe now you're ready to go? Yes, let's do it. Let's go then. Follow him and the other Salvatores into the desert. Now this is pretty cool and spooky. All right, let's uh, save first. Now this is uh, now the second time, but we'll meet the Enclave, but properly. These guys give me the creeps. Shut up. Here they come. Look at this verdi bird. Zzz, you have the cargo we requested. Yes, the chemicals are all here. You can check them if you like. That will not be necessary. You know what will happen if the chemicals do not meet the specifications we requested. Right, of course. Uh, and you brought the light bringers? The laser weapons are in our cargo bay. To ensure your cooperation, we will transmit the arming sequence for them once the chemicals are loaded. Uh, well, alright then. Load her up, boys. No. We will load the cargo. Uh, right, of course. Give them room, boys. All right, we're good here. The rest of you guards head back to Reno. We'll meet up with you. Now's probably not the best time to strike a conversation. <laughs> I did save, right? Let's talk to this guy, see what he is. No. All right. So there I go, there's a verdi bird. Can I actually? Yeah, they will probably shoot me. I've saved anyway. Oh. Looks like there is a door. Open in and climb in. Really? <laughs> Board the vertebrae. Once you climb inside the cargo hole, the door seals behind you. You attempt to force it open, but it won't budge. As you try to think of a way out, you hear the armored soldiers board the vertebrae, which then takes off with you trapped inside. Oh shit. <laughs> I've never tried this before. Holy crap. Oh no. After a half hour of sitting in the dark cargo hold, you feel the craft touch down to er uh, Earth once more. A moment later, the cargo doors open and you see a squad of power armored soldiers. One of them does a double take at you, then turns to the others. Holy shit! Some of these muty wastelanders stowed away on the bird! Alert! We've got intruders! Chop out and see how many you can take down before they waste you. Raise hands and surrender and hope for the best. Ah, oh, it doesn't look like the muties are gonna put up a fight. Maybe we should bring them to the commander, see what he wants to do about this. Bloody hell. Alright, let's get this over with. I don't like mutis stinking up my office and I got shit to do. Do you work for the Salvatores? Yeah, I work for Salvatores. Tell me what I want to know and I'll make sure your death is quick and relatively painless. Did Salvatore put you up to this? Yeah, he thought he'd <laughs> sweeten the trade. Uh... 
Before I answer my question, I've got a few of my own. Oh, you do? <laughs> well, hell, why not? You're dying anyway. What do you want to know, a mutant? Who the hell are you guys? We're the Enclave, the last bastion of true humanity on this damned planet. We're the only ones still upholding the honor of the old red, white, and blue. That's right, we're the true patriots. We eat bald eagles and shit stars and stripes. We're we're all that's left of the great United States of America. <laughs> but we're enough. Oh yeah, we're enough to set things right. You can count on that, Mutie. Next question. <laughs> How can I get some of that sweet armor? By prying it off my dead body. Good luck with that, Mutie. Next question. Where am I? This here's Navarro, our secret mainland base. We're sitting right on the coast of California and the Pacific Ocean. Next question. I've heard enough. Good, because I'm damn tired of wasting my breath on a mutant. In fact, this whole thing's a waste of my time, because I don't give a flying fuck what you've got to say to me. Guards, kill this mutie! And he's gonna kill us with his plasma pistol now. <laughs> Lovely. Why doesn't it say how much it... Okay, so we're not gonna do this, because, you know... We're gonna reload, but I'm just gonna try a burst, see how much I do to him. <laughs> 17 hit points, nothing much. Okay. We're not gonna spoil this for you yet. Let's go back. Alright. Oh! Wait, we haven't actually done it yet. That was pretty cool though, I, I never knew you could actually get into the Verdi bird and... <laughs> well, look at this thing, it looks pretty darn cool. Can we talk to the robot? Whoa! Damn it! What are you doing, dipshit? Oh crap, now I have to do it again. Eh. Okay, let's try a nice little burst. <laughs> and we missed. Okay. Ah, you're not strong enough to use this weapon properly. Ah, okay. That kind of sucks. Okay. Fine, fine. We know now. We know we'll have this weapon. Actually, not now. We don't need it. <laughs> Do you have the cargo we requested? <laughs> look, I mean, look at these guys. They've got the cargo here, the cargo here, and these, you know, caravan trailers, whatever. Cars cut in half, and these guys come with bloody high-tech helicopter, verdi bird, whatever. It's pretty cool. And of course the power armor. This is the power armor mark two. 150. Alright, the laser weapons are in our con why do they call them light bringers? <laughs> I thought they would be, you know, at least have enough knowledge that these are laser weapons, not light bringers. Uh well, alright then. Load her up, boys. No. Their voices are also very cool in the uh, power armor. Alright. Okay, we'll meet up with you. Fine, fine, let's go back. To, oh, it doesn't seem like we actually left anywhere, but that's okay. Right, I need to go to the east side and get that uh, sample of jet from these guys, definitely. Because I think that's the only way I can get the clues I need. Come on, this way. No, uh, you missed me. I killed you dead. Look out, here comes the metal insect. <laughs> Who does... Hmm. No. Can you tell me about your brother Richard? Uh. Oh, quiet kid. Clean kid. Kept out of trouble. And for a ride, that's something. We buried him in the Golgotha Plains a while ago, but even so, Mom still don't want his room disturbed. It's hard for her to let go, you know? Which room was it? Do you think your mother would mind if I looked in there? His room? It's the empty one next to mom's room, the second one down from the kitchen. As for looking around, well, 
Look, don't stay too long. And don't mess the place up, or mom will pop a clip if she finds out. <laughs> Thanks, Keith, I won't be long. Right, that's what we needed to do in the first bloody place. I'm not sure how this can be his room. I mean, there's bunk beds all over the place. Hey, I found an empty jet canister beneath the dresser. Okay, and that's exactly what we need. Let's take the money as well, just because, you know. Is that... Mom, yeah, Mrs. Wright, can we talk to her? Yeah, there's the empty jet canister. This empty jet canister was found in Richard Wright's room. It still has traces of jet inside. The woman jumps. <gasps> oh my, you gave me such a fright. Yes, yes, who are you? Me? Why, I'm Mrs. Ethel Wright, head of the Temperance Union here in Reno. And who might you be? I'm Metal Canyon. I had some questions about New Reno. Oh my, you're a tribal, aren't you? Your accent gave it away. She raises her voice and starts speaking slowly. Well, may I be the first to welcome you to our city. <laughs> what you say, me simple tribal, no understand you. I said, let me, points at herself, welcome you, points at you, to, gestures at the city around her, city of lights. Woman, I am neither deaf nor stupid. I can understand you quite well without you raising your voice. Uh, oh, excuse me. Pardons, pardons. It's just that I thought, well, never mind. Let's put that all behind us. What can I do for you? Uh, Ryan, you're Richard's mother, right? I heard he passed away recently. Yes, my son Richard, he... Yes, he left us much too soon. I... Yes, I... I heard it was a jet overdose, is that right? That filthy poison, I thought that I taught him to stay away from that stuff and then... Can you tell me where he might have caught in the jet? I don't know! They sell that poison on every corner here in New Reno, everywhere you go, they're peddling it. Do you know any specific dealers? Not by name. They know enough to run when they see me coming, but they cluster like flies around Virgin Street at the front of the town and outside the casinos. I better be going. Alright, so we got this uh, jet canister. This is what we need to start our uh, actual investigation. We need to go to the dealers, but I'm kind of, you know, afraid of the fact that uh, we pissed off uh, Jimmy J, whatever. Jagged Jimmy J. Uh, we'll see if he'll attack us again here. Hopefully not. But anyway, we're gonna find that out next time. Thanks for watching.